So, what's up guys? This is another video to solve. Right now, we have a Synology Rock Station. And this is the model. RS815 Plus. So, one of our clients sent us right now here. Uh, they're having issue on their Synology, Synology Rock Station. So let's check about it. Okay. So once we turn on this time right now, as you have seen, as you have seen, there's a red light flashing, and those uh, indicators for the hard drives are on amber. So mostly. These are the issues when you're going to update the Synology, uh, update the Synology, and after the update, this would happen. So as I read some articles, uh, I think Synology was going to make an update to make a bugs on the uh, some of the processors of this kind of models because uh, this model have an atom uh, processor I think they're gonna dispose or stop the the I mean they're gonna make the end of life of, of their product so more of the consumers are gonna stop using this product and buy new models so I think that's what happened so right now, we're gonna switch off this one, then uh, we're gonna try to debug and try to fix this bug under update. So stay tuned. Okay, without further ado, let's so uh, let's get started. So first, you need to remove this uh, board panel on your Synology RS eight one five plus. So, this is the boards look like. This is the RAM slot 1 and this is the RAM slot 2 on the back side. So, I think we need to put some uh, transist uh, resistance here in order, in order to regulate the current exact voltage to our processor so let's try this out to put some resistor so right now we're in our soldering area so let me tell you about this secret and how to solve that issue so here this is the one we're gonna put some resistors. So on the right side, uh, first hole, and on the second row, the third hole. Okay, first and second row, third hole. So now we're gonna bring our resistor. So you go to your uh, hardware or electronic. Uh, stores to find some resistors and as of now I have this full set so let's take one of it okay I'm gonna take remember 100 ohms so we'll take one of it uh, so now we have our 100 ohms resistor so we're gonna put it here on the first hole and the second row third hole and remember and remember uh, should be the gold side should be on the up uh, on the right side and the brown part it should be on the left side so okay i will put it now just for a while okay so it should be look like this 
the gold part should be on the right side on the first hole and the brown color coded should be on the second row third hole so now we're gonna start to solder it prepare solding iron okay okay we're gonna solder this one out right now That's it. To double check it, let's have our voltmeter so meaning our soldered is okay soldering is okay so we're gonna cut this uh, exist uh, excess uh, all this excess wiring they call it okay so later i gonna try to plug it back then let's see you later so this is what it looks like to review so first hole on the gold side and the brown side is on the second row third hole uh -huh. so we soldered this one out properly so let's try to put it back in our NAS server so right now we are here in our NAS server so we're gonna put it back okay slowly but gentle okay We're gonna put the power back on. <clears throat> so this is the moment of truth. So as you can see before we're gonna turn on that power uh, it it gives us directly this red alert status so right now in this situation our NAS server is actually live back again it's now it's booting on its uh, operating system to load up all the configuration settings and everything so we're gonna wait for a moment this probably will be, probably have beep after the booting process so 
you heard that beep status so now we put it back on our server rack so as you can see our NAS now is live back again so let's try to check Okay. Let's have a quick look. So we need to run first the Synology Assistant. Okay. Technology assistant to check if your NAS is live and ready. So, this is the NAS Technology uh, assistant. Then our NAS now is back live again. So, in over to access that one, access that IP address. So. Okay, so when you're going to load that uh, NAS, this is the our GUI. So this time, guys, our NAS is totally solved by putting a resistor 100 ohms on our NAS Synology server. This makes solve your problems on after the update. So don't worry about anything else. So try to do it 100% guarantee fix. So thank you for watching. And once again, don't forget to, to subscribe in our channel and click like and share to help another IT administrator out there. So stay safe. Have a good time.